What's up guys? I'm going to make myself a YouTube subscriber counter. Now I'm going to do this thing from scratch, so let's go. For starters, we're going to use an ESP8266. Now in this case, I've got a 12F if anyone's interested um, or looking online because there's a bunch of different models. So I've just used this one, they're quite cheap. And you can see there, there's those jumpers that I'll need to solder on, or I can just solder the wires directly to it. I also bought an LED 8x32 um, matrix. Those wires will connect the screen to the actual ESP unit. I have a USB port on that as well, which is a micro, I believe, micro USB, which goes off to your computer and your computer is connected to the internet and that's where the unit itself can pick up the information that we need. This video, I'm actually building this for subscribers for my channel now. That's just to start off with. You could pull whatever data you want. So you could pull the like stock exchange information if you wanted or your how many tweets that you've done or how many whatever, Facebook um, notifications, oh, I don't know, whatever you want to do, as long as you can get the information across, you can program it to display that. With the case itself, I'm going to do a 3D printed box as always because I can build it exactly how I want it and I'll make sure I have a little cutout or something on there so that we can run that USB cord out. I guess the first thing to do is get into actually putting these together and start to program it. So let's do it. So what we have here is the ESP board and what I'll need to do is solder on the jumpers. Now you could solder the wires direct to the board. I just uh, feel if I want to change the project in future or need to add to it, uh, it's a lot easier to just whack on another wire onto the jumpers than it is to re-solder things. Make sure once you finish you go back over the connections to make sure they're all complete. You don't want a loose connection there. And there we have the boards all soldered up. Now this is the wiring that I'm going to use for my setup. Uh, you can see there where each of the voltages ground and each of the three wires that connect from the ESP across to the MAX board. Now to print up a box for it. I've got the STL file in the description below if anyone wants to print up the same box and all I've done is just spray paint it with some black paint just so it suits better in my... Unfortunately I was out of black plastic when I made this so hence why it was pink. So now I'm going to fit the screens into the actual box. Now when I printed it out it was a tiny bit too tight so what I'm going to have to do is actually heat up the plastic a little bit and that way it'll be able to uh, squeeze in nice and tight. At least I know it won't fall out. So I'm just using this little uh, microwave oven device thingy here. So I'm just going to throw it in uh, and basically just let it heat up a little bit. And I realized after I put it in that I should have put it flat. So I did change it around. Uh, otherwise it will sag in the middle. So now that it's heated up, uh, we push the wires through first and then we just kind of give it a bit of force, pop it in place and as it cools down it kind of shrinks down onto it and uh, basically keeps it nice and tight. So there you go. Now I just hook up the ESP unit to the screen and then we can just tuck that away and get ready to program it. So a big problem that a lot of people come up to with the ESP units is the drivers that you need to install. Now I've put a link in the description below for both the real version of the ESP units and also a fake version or clone. So make sure you download that and install it first before trying to connect your ESP unit. Now what we want to do is install the library. So if we go into the Arduino software, we can go into file and preferences and down in the additional board manager we want to add this line here which I'll paste in the description below. This gives us access to the libraries that we need 
to do this project so once you hit OK you'll be able to go across to the uh, libraries page where we can manage the libraries and when it brings up the list let it load up so then you can search for the ESP8266 Wi-Fi and there you'll see uh, that the library needs to be installed if it's not already installed so you can click on that and install it after that we want to install our second library which is Arduino JSON so if you type that in you'll see there that there is a library for that now when installing this library be aware that you need to do the version 5.2.0 there is a version 6 and up um, but the code for this is designed to work for the lower version so install that and you can close it off so to get the data you need to get an API which I've got a link in the description below and basically you open up the Google account which I'm logged in on my account as you can see in the top corner and you can create this API now if you ignore the fact that I've got traffic there from my existing one what we want to do up where the blue box is it says enable APIs and services so if we click it takes us to a page where we can type in YouTube and it searches for all the API types now the one we're after is YouTube data API version 3 so if we click that it'll take us to the next page but the first thing we need to do is select a project so up in the top left hand corner we can select select a project and because there's no existing one you'll have to create a new one and in there you can create project and you can call it something like ESP uh, sub counter that's what I'm calling mine and then after that all we need to do is hit the create button now you can select that project and once it opens up hit the enable button and it'll take you to the next screen on the left hand side you want to go across to the credentials and hit that button it'll bring up the credentials page and on here you'll need to create credentials now this is basically your password to gain access to this information so once you hit it it'll ask you what API are you using so it should be YouTube data API version 3 um, now where will you be calling that from I'm selecting the other non UI uh, and then after that uh, we basically hit the public data and we can hit the blue button your private key will then be displayed there so keep that one handy but don't show it to anyone else All right, so if we work down from the start of the code basically we have the three libraries that we have installed already now the number of screens on your MAX device uh, the rotation if you need to spin it around now keep the pins the same if you're doing similar to mine uh, now you have obviously the included libraries which are downloaded when you download the github uh, folder we have the Wi-Fi name your Wi-Fi password the API key which you created just before and the YouTube channel which you'll find if you go to your YouTube channel up in the bar up the top you'll see it there you can copy and paste that into the spot in the code now you can also adjust for the UTC time uh, and it'll just adjust your hours and such now the rest of the code you don't really need to touch now I have converted it to English there was two lines one was for I believe Polish there which can be commented out by using the two forward dashes now you can just rename whatever you want um, and call it whatever you feel like if you've got different languages you can put in uh, your own I guess if if you need to or um, then yeah that's really about it all you have to do now is make sure that your right ESP unit is selected your comms channel is correct uh, you verify it and upload now just for demonstration sake I did upload with the incorrect Wi-Fi password and it comes up with error but once you fix it it will come up with the correct info so there you go thanks for watching um, if you have any questions just ask me in the comments below 
Uh, and yeah, subscribe so we can watch that counter go up. Uh, leave a like so I know to do projects like this in future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.